If I want to use width settings in C++, then I can do that using a method called width that is associated with cout. And the way it works is this. Uh, if I see out something to the screen, let's say it's hello. Um, by default, there's not any sort of width that is going to be placed next to it. Um, so if I do that and then I see out, let's do a number, 999. That's just going to be next to each other when it comes out on the screen. Let me show you that. Play this. Okay, yes. So here is, once this loads up, do, do, do. Hello and 999 right next to each other. What I can do is I can force that stuff to take up a certain amount of space on the screen. So I can do cout.width, and inside here I can put a width I would like it to take up. And it will essentially use some other character to fill the space that's left over. So let's say I want hello to actually take up 10 spaces on the screen. That word is only five letters long. Let's see what that looks like when I run it. It shifts it over and it pads with space characters up to the word hello, um, but you'll notice that it didn't get applied to the 999. So cout.width will buy you one width setting. I need to set it for each individual piece. So if I would like two things to line up, both taking up 10 characters on the screen, then I have to do an individual cout.width in front of each one. So now when I print this, it will have hello and 999, both taking up 10 spaces each for a total of 20 um, places on the screen. You may notice that by default this stuff aligns to the right. If I want to switch that, then I can set a flag. Set F. This flag is called IOS colon colon. And if I want to set it to the left, then I can put left here. Um, this guy will stay on until I turn it back off. So once I've set everything it to the left, everything will go to the left. So if I run this, now my items go over to the left. They still take up 10 spaces each. You can see that because the cursor is blinking there after the 999. Um, if I decide later I would like to turn this back off, I can unset it. So I can say unset F and then put the same name. And now I've turned my flag off so that the 999 will go to the right. So let me show you that. So hello takes up 10 spaces. It's aligned to the left. 999 takes up 10 spaces. It's aligned to the right. And using those two things, I can make stuff uh, line up in columns pretty easily. The only thing with width is if my word is more than 10. So let's say, hello, hello, hello. That's 15 characters long. I've tried to apply a width of 10 to it. Um, let me take this guy off. I'm just going to leave the left align flag on. Um, if I do that then it's like I didn't set the width at all because if it takes up more than the width I set, it'll just overrun and it will have no effect. So you have to be aware of that.